Welcome. Today I will show you how to use the email info website to check general information about your device. So we're going to use an Apple as an example uh, for the email and we'll basically check something like a country and warranty status for a device. And if you're unsure how to get the email number of the device, you can do it in two different ways. One is through the settings and go into like about the device. And the second one is provided right here in a three easy steps. Basically you open up the dialer app, you put in this specific number right here. So it's star hash zero six hash. And once you put it in, it immediately opens up a little window with the email number provided for your device. And uh, then all you need to do is put it right right here. So I already have it copied and all I need to do is paste like so. And then I need to check that I'm not a robot and select whatever it's telling me to do. Now, mind you, you might not see this uh, caps catch. You might just, it might just check automatically and it could be like let go easily without actually having to verify anything. But I unfortunately am not. So let's do that. Okay, and now I can just stop and check. And once it actually loads, I should see the general information of the device. So right here, it's an iPhone 8, Apple. Then on the right side, you get the basic information about it. So design, uh, what it is, where it was, when it was released, what kind of SIM it takes, and a couple other general information about this specific model, which I mean iPhone 8. Um, then you also have other free checks that I can do here. So Apple warranty and basic information, a blacklist check, phone number and serial number. And now going more in depth for a couple of them, warranty and basic information. Basic information will be again, just this and then a warranty. So how long the iPhone will have the warranty for. Um, you also have blacklist check, which will allow you to see if the phone has been registered as stolen. You can check the number and serial number, kind of self-explanatory. You also have paid checks, so you can basically carry and uh, lock status. You can basically remotely lock the device. Uh, blacklist check pro, I guess that would allow you probably to also blacklist the device. SIM lock status to see if the device, is, if the device has a SIM lock or not, and so on. You can go through them. Now I'm going to do also a warranty ch check, as I said, so I'm going to tap on Apple warranty and basic information. I'm going to open it up in the next tab. So here, let's click Apple warranty and basic information check. Give it a couple moments. And there we go. So we have the serial number, which is locked for the most part, apart from the last four digits, you have the email number, which I've put in, uh, then the iPhone, which tells you that it's an iPhone 8, 64 gigabytes, and also the color, refurbished, no, activated, yes, activated means basically whenever the device was turned on for the first time and set up. And since that, like if this says no, then warranty of Apple hasn't actually started. If it's yes, then the moment, you activate the device warranty will actually start to count down. Then you have the purchase date, which is empty. Uh, where is uh, right here? Technical support expired date. As you can see, it's expired, so two years have passed. Apple Care eligibility no, because of the fact that this is ex this is expired. Um, and yeah, that's basically things that you can check right here. And. Uh, yeah, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.